so yeah hi guys welcome back to the channel and for this tutorial uh, this is the continuation of the previous one so we have already designed the 3d model now we are going to see how to do the drawing for this part so let's go for file not open sorry for file new select drawing give the file name uh, you can use drawing model file name so whatever model name is there it will take that at the file name uh, also you can select the template so i'm gonna uncheck it press ok and uh, we are going to use empty template of uh, a3 landscape and ok now from here uh, we are going to insert the views uh, for this model we are only going to need two views so as you can see I, this is my drawing sheet and we are going to add the two views over here so for adding the two views you just have to go to general drawing uh, press ok left click mouse on the sheet and from here you can select front uh, go to view state view display hidden apply and also you can say none for tangent edge display this is what we want for now so press ok i can drag it anywhere see the scale of the drawing is one so it's perfect now you can see that uh, the sheet is a little bit longer because uh, we are just adding two views so we can go to sheet right click sheet setup we can change it to a4 in case press ok so in a4 also it looks fine now from here right uh, if you just click on the view you have the options such as uh, properties annotation projection view i'm going to use projection view and project one model here now this obviously should be uh, similar to this views show so select this view go to properties go to view display go for hidden go for none apply okay so now we have added the two views it's time to add the uh, other details such as dimensions and uh, center lines and everything so for that i'm gonna select this view so as you left click you will get the option called show model annotation and this we have so many options for now but we are going to use this model datums and uh, we're gonna need this one this one this one this one and this one apply cancel after this what we can do is we can adjust these center lines so if you try to select it right now it will not select uh, so what you can do is press alt button and then select it so now you will get handle to reduce or extend it so i'm gonna just extend it from here to here like this that's it for this one also we can select this one and uh, we can reduce this like this You can uh, adjust all this well all these things right so if you are not able to select it by just left clicking make sure you press alt button and then left click so you will be able to select now let's add the dimensions so for that again you can left click go for show model annotations and in this button you will have the options see already all the dimensions will be uh, visible so for now i'm gonna need this 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 and uh, i think we're going to need 14 
21, 28 and 16 and 45 and 28. Also this 8. Apply cancel. From here all we have to do is adjust it a little bit. So let's take it a little bit up. These two are done. This 28 will come here. And this 8 can also come here. Alright. Now this we can do like this. And for the 14, select this. Okay. do like this so I think for now I can place it here and here now this as you can see this diameter is taking two uh, arrow points arrows now we want to change the arrow direction so just click on it and you can say flip arrows select flip arrows we will uh, it will get rid of the other arrow you know what I mean right so after this we can adjust few more things like selecting this and pulling it down like this and uh, see this thing is coming from here which is not required in fact this should come from here similarly this one similarly this one right also this so these are the few um, detailing part that you should be knowing right because uh, in professional world if you are working in MNCs or any design orgs they will uh, they will want you to know all this little little details so that uh, your uh, work is perfect so for now i think uh, this view is done let's move to the top view and do the same so left click go to show model annotations show datums and uh, for the datum part i'm gonna need this 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 all this all this apply cancel if you want to adjust any of these you can do that now let's add the dimensions so left click again show model annotation and this time for the dimension part so we'll need eight this one this one these two and then i think we will need this ten as well as 12 22 and this 8 26 46 56 apply cancel now we are going to start with here so it is okay let's adjust the handles from here it will also come up to here for this whole dimension I'm gonna add uh, some text so once you see once we select it you can add dimension text from here and from here you can just say four holes and that's it so it will look like this obviously change the arrow size now this dimension 10 if you want it here you can enter it manually so go to annotate dimension this press control and select this press middle mouse button you can take it inside also like this so after that we don't need this so delete it similarly uh, for this we can drag it like this and 
give it here okay for the 22 we can drag it like this here and then change the arrow so select it change arrow for the 12 i'm gonna place it here change the arrow and uh, yeah i think we are good to go this is what we wanted if you want you can slide it a little bit here little bit more adjustment over here and uh, that's it this is how you can do the drawings for 3d model inside Creo parametric very easy nothing fancy nothing difficult over here if you have any doubts feel free to comment down below make sure you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel and um, i'll see you guys in the next video peace out